The first thing you're going to need is to put together our large tracer. There's a colored line on each set that connects it kind of like a puzzle piece. That also includes the diameter above it. When tracing, you want to keep one hand in the middle flat and still, and go around the perimeter, lightly tracing the circle, removing the next ring as you finish. If you accidentally bump one, you can re-put the tracers back on and trace it again. We need to put the large one back on to trace the marks that we're going to need to make with our ruler. Using a ruler, we are going to connect the lines across. Make sure you're using a pencil and lightly tracing. These lines do not need to be dark. As you're lining up the ruler in between the dots, also check in the middle to see how that line is going to cross through the center point. If it looks like it's going to cross not in the center, move the ruler a little bit, which is occurring in the last line that I drew on my circle. It wasn't going through the middle, so I changed it with my ruler. If you're somebody that's choosing to do four rings instead of eight rings, the steps are very similar. You're going to put your tracers down, trace around. However, after you're done tracing that one circle, you're going to remove two circles instead of one. I accidentally missed the lower part of my circle, so I put the tracer back on to fix it. Now I'm going to use a ruler to connect the dots across from each other, lightly tracing with the pencil. To start this pattern, you're going to use your pencil and you're going to draw a diagonal curved line from one corner going to the next. Repeat this step for each section on the outer ring of your design. Your diagonal lines don't have to be perfect, just try your best. Once you finish the first ring, you're going to repeat this step for the second ring, but you're going to change the direction of your diagonal line. Once you finish that ring, you're going to change the direction of the diagonal in the following ring, so on until you get to the center ring. You could also fill in the diagonals by one section at a time. As you see in the video, I'm staying in the same pie slice of the circle, but alternating the direction of the diagonal line. I am not doing the diagonal line in the center circle. You stop at the center. Now it's time to erase. We're going to be erasing the lines that we made with the ruler earlier, except for the center circle. We are not going to erase the straight lines in there. This is the reason why we wanted to draw lightly with our pencil for these lines. If you press too hard with your pencil, it might be hard to erase, but the materials that you use could hide those pencil lines. If you're somebody that chose to do four rings for your design, the method is still the same. You're going to start with a diagonal line going from one corner to the other, and then alternating in between each ring, and then stopping at the center ring, then erasing our ruler lines. For this design, you're going to need to grab that big ring again and flip it over to the side where you see the red marks. Line up the marks you already have to the red marks and create a pencil mark at any red mark that does not already have a line. Then you're going to use your ruler to go across and connect. Remember to eyeball the middle to make sure that your lines are going through the center. If not, fix the ruler. Just like the previous design, you're going to start by doing a diagonal line on the outer side of the ring making sure you're going from one corner to the other and keeping it in the same direction in this ring. Once you finish one ring, you go into the next ring, but changing the direction of the diagonal line. You're going to do this for every single ring except for the center ring.
If you're somebody that chose to do only four rings but wanted the same design, the steps are the same. Place down the tracer, mark with a pencil with the lines that you need to create, pay attention to the center to keep the lines in the middle, and go lightly with your pencil. And do a diagonal line in each box on the outer ring in the same direction. Once you finish the ring, then you're going to move in one ring and change the direction of your diagonal line. You're going to do this till you hit the center circle. The center circle does not need any diagonal lines. Last step is to erase those straight lines that we made with the ruler earlier. This is why drawing lightly with your pencil is important. It will make erasing a lot easier.